welcome to Rome, the Eternal City. The ancient Romans called Rome the Eternal City because they believed that no matter what happened in the rest of the world, Rome would always stand. Located in the middle of country, on the banks of the river Tiber, Rome, Italy's capital, built on seven hills, has a population of 2.8 million people. Rome is a melting pot of cultures from all over the world and has a long and complex history dating back over 2,500 years. It was founded in 753 BC and according to legend, was ruled by a series of seven kings before becoming a republic in 509 BC. The city of Rome is essentially one big museum. With its magnificent architecture, traveling around Rome is like walking through time. Spend some time people watching from the Spanish steps. Spend hours in the museums and take in all the beautiful architecture the city has to offer as you stroll along the cobblestone street with a gelato in hand. Keep strolling around, you'll soon find that Rome isn't quite as huge as you expected. Everyone knows everyone. After a few visits to the same locations, you'll see that people recognize you as well. This video will cover some of the best things to do in Rome and provide you to a plenty of useful information to help you plan an easy and fun trip to Rome. Visit the Colosseum. The Colosseum is an oval amphitheater in the middle of Rome, also known as the Flavian Amphitheater. It was built of concrete and stone and is considered one of the greatest engineering feats of ancient times. The Colosseum was used for gladiatorial contests. It could seat up to 50,000 spectators. Despite extensive damage from earthquakes and stone thieves, the Colosseum remains an iconic symbol of Imperial Rome and has been named one of the new seven wonders of the world. When visiting the Colosseum, visitors may easily understand how the gladiators fought for their lives in the arena, cheered on by the audience. Explore the Roman Forum The Roman Forum was a public square in ancient Rome. Located in the area between the Palatine and Capitoline Hills, the Roman Forum was built during the 7th century BC and was the heart of the Roman Republic and the Roman Empire for many centuries. It was an important center of trade and commerce, and the location where many important events in Roman history took place. There's something tremendously intriguing about treading in the footsteps of Julius Caesar and other famous individuals from Roman history if you can get your mind working. Take a stroll through the Pantheon. The Pantheon is one of the most recognizable Roman structures in Rome's historic center. The Pantheon was built in 27 BC and is one of the few buildings from ancient Rome that has survived totally intact. The Pantheon was originally built as a temple to all the gods of ancient Rome, hence its name Pantheon which means all gods. It was later converted to a church, and as such, has been in continuous use for over 1,900 years. Inside, you can find several tombs of famous Italian kings, artists and architects. Toss some coins into the Trevi Fountain. It is the largest Baroque fountain in the city and one of the most famous fountains in the world. The fountain is located in the Trevi district, which takes its name from the fountain. The fountain is also famous for its tradition of throwing coins into the fountain. The legend goes that throwing a coin over your left shoulder into the fountain will ensure your return to Rome. The fountain is a popular tourist destination, and millions of visitors come every year to see it and throw their coins into the fountain. It is also a popular spot for photography and has been featured in many films and TV shows. Make sure to take a coin with you and make a wish. Visit the Vatican City No trip to Rome would be complete without a visit to the Vatican City. Home of the Pope and the center of the Catholic Church, Vatican City is a sovereign city-state based in Rome. It is the smallest country in the world by both area and population with an area of approximately 44 hectares and a population of around 800 people. Vatican City is a major tourist destination and attracts millions of visitors every year. It is open to visitors, but some areas, such as the Vatican Library and the Pope's private apartments, are closed to the public. Visitors can tour the Vatican Museums, the Sistine Chapel, and St. Peter's Basilica, and attend Mass at St. Peter's. The climate of Rome is Mediterranean, with pleasant winters and warm to hot summers. You may visit Rome all year, although the finest seasons for tourism are spring and autumn. Temperatures can reach 30 degrees Celsius during the dry and sunny summer months of July and August. The winters in Rome are pleasant, with temperatures ranging from 10 to 15 degrees Celsius. Although it rarely snows, the winters are mild. 
It is advised to know a few basic Italian phrases. However, there are plenty of English speakers around in case you want help. Rome is a foodie's paradise, with everything from simple trattorias to takeout pizza to cuisine of the highest caliber. No trip to Rome would be complete without indulging in some of the delicious local cuisine. From pasta carbonara, a pasta dish made with egg, pecorino romano cheese, black pepper, and panceto or bacon, to pizza romana a thin, crispy crust with tomato sauce, mozzarella cheese, and olive oil, there's something to satisfy every taste bud. Although it is without a doubt one of the most visited location in Italy, the city has remained true to itself and is still mostly populated by local. Rome, the seat of one of the largest historical empires in the world, is a fascinating city that has inspired travelers for ages and is now a popular destination for tourists of all kinds. These are just a few of the many things you can see and do in Rome. We hope this video has given you some inspiration for your next trip to the Eternal City. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We recommend you to check our video about 5 best things to do in Amsterdam.